Believe it or not, that sound is coming from the sand. As my bike digs in, it kicks up an avalanche and the whole sound starts up. It just comes from the whole view. <laughs> Once I've started the sand moving with my quad bike, it all seems to feed itself. The sound bounces around deep beneath the surface, getting louder and louder until the whole dune is roaring like a jumbo jet, and you've no idea where it's coming from. Even after you've stopped at the bottom, it can go on for ages. That is a very, very odd noise. No one really knows how this all works, but it makes you realise there's a whole other world down there, a world of underground sound. To know what's really going on in the sand, you need one of these. It's a geophone, an underground microphone. It picks up vibrations from the ground and turns them into an electrical signal, which is translated into a sound we can hear. Suddenly, when you've got one of these, quite commonplace events take on a whole new meaning. The geophone is your passport to the sound of the ground. And just imagine what the world would sound like if you could hear like this. Even grassy tussocks blowing gently in the breeze would sound like an underground train. And it's something to do with this sound in particular that desert expert Paul Brian wanted to show me. Paul believes the animal that left these tracks is using the sound of grassy tussocks to find its way around in the desert night. Very strange indeed. Every so often you get these little dips, just like Thomas's spiders. Only this time, they lead not to a hole, but a grassy tussock. And to get a look at the animal behind these tracks is, according to Paul, quite simple. Just fence off the tussock, dig in a bucket and come back later. It seems that the night time is the right time for everything in the desert. Let's have a look and see what's in here. And just go delving, do you? There we go. Oh, look at that. And there it is, That's quite cool. happily nestling in our bucket, all smooth and shiny, a golden mole. Oh my God. He's incredibly strong, actually. He's just forcing his way through my fingers, like... Look at this knife, look how strongly like pulled. It's a chisel, isn't yeah. it? And sharp nails. Oh, and that beautiful fur as well. He's so streamlined. 